Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we are going to take a look at 1 and 2 from last night's Cali Pro. This is Mohamed Shaban, and he placed second to Patrick Moore, of course. He placed first, took the title, and this is not meant to disrespect Patrick Moore whatsoever. It's not meant to dispute whether he won or lost. You know, I'm just obsessed over the sport, and I'm sure some of you guys are too, or this game, sport, game, whatever you want to call it. And we'd like to check out the competition and what the competition was like at these pro shows. And I gotta say, Shaban, he looks pretty darn good. Size-wise, he had it. I mean, condition-wise, he had it. But I think where Pat ha has him is the proportions, the aesthetic flow. Now let's take another shot here because that was an actual side-by-side -side picture this one was from their individual not routines but their their mandatories and i didn't size them i wanted to keep these pictures as clear as possible the sizing i will use more for the other pictures the actual on stage of course you can't uh, rig the sizing of those you know they're standing side by side but when it comes to these pictures i apologize the sizing is not perfect but this is more to check conditioning and Shaban's condition, look at the wheels, guys. Vascular. But Pat, he has a certain type of condition. Muscle separation might be better. And like I said, guys, the aesthetic flow, proportions, calves even, all goes to Pat. Go to the front lat spread. And this one here, again, it's the aesthetic flow of Patrick. His upper body seems to be better. But when it comes to the... The quads, now what I don't want to say the whole lag development because Pat's calves, dominant, dominant in this match. And that's just from the front. But other than that, the quads, the vascularity, Shaban's pretty darn good. But in my estimation, he's not taking Patrick Moore in this pose. This is an unbelievable front lats, Brad. And I didn't put them side by side because the, the size of the pitcher was so much different. And I, I didn't want to resize them. I wanted to keep the, you know, maintain the quality of the pitchers. Now here's Shea Ban. And he just doesn't have the, the impact, I don't think. Proportions when it comes to the calves. That is, you know, maybe a glaring omission to a lot of people. But to me, I definitely take note of that for sure. Go to the side. And this is, I don't want to say it's difficult to size these guys. But I mean, the, the you can see the ground. Tilted thusly, so really. And the, the camera the camera angle itself, maybe not favoring Shaban in this one. Go to uh, the, from the routines, and you can see clarity in this one. Hey, Shaban, he uses both sides. He used the other side. You notice I mentioned uh, Nick Walker. Shaban, Mohamed Shaban looks exactly like Nick Walker in the side chest development. You guys notice that? And I mentioned earlier, I didn't want to put the pictures of the front lat spread side by side because the sizing was too off. And you can see here, Patrick is, you know, he's too small in this comparison. But these are to check detail, condition. Shea Band's right there with him. But Pat has a good muscle separation for sure. Good flow as well. Go to the side uh, tricep development. Now, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Now, nine times out of ten, I would give it to the guy with the uh, the superior shape, flow, aesthetics, like Patrick, as long as the conditioning is not terrible, which it's not. And usually the judges give the the, the contest to the guy like Shaban, with the more condition, the more size, and they kind of just write off the aesthetics. But in this one, hey, I got no problem with Pat getting the victory. Here's the more clearer shot. And this really does justice for the sides of the legs of Shea Ban. Fantastic. Glass. That, that skin is like glass. But unfortunately, the proportions, the, the, it's not matching the upper body. The condition of the upper body seems to be different. And Patrick, his legs are the, the exact same condition as his upper body. Everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. Symmetry, proportions, flow. It just looks outstanding. So up until the back shots, I say Pat has this one with ease. Go to the back. Now this is where you could run into some debate. Glute for glute, hamstring for hamstring, back even condition. Shea Ban looks like he is in better condition. 
Maybe not quite as complete when it comes to the calves, lat insertions. Here's a closer look at it for those of you who weren't sure about the conditioning. And I gotta say, Shaban, he is in a little bit better condition than Pat. Pat's back's probably wider. Calves are bigger, fuller. Better silhouette. Better silhouette. Better V-taper for Pat. But man, look at the condition. This, you know, like I said, if they had have given this one to Shaban, you'd have heard a, a lot of people crying. Nah, Pat should have won it, blah, blah, blah. But realistically, there wouldn't have been any real solid arguments. Shaban's very conditioned. Rear double bicep. Now Pat has it. Pat has it. Look at the lower lat insertions, guys. The slight loss of condition, I guess, if he's losing in that edge, he's making up for it. He has more, much more in the way of flow, lat insertions, proportions, and he's got the calves as well. But, but I mentioned the calves a few times. Now, some good muscle separation in the calves of Shaban, and maybe a little too smooth monsoon. For those calves of Patrick Moore. Look at his lower back. Go to the the actual close-up pictures. And see this is an upper body versus lower body game. And you, oh, sorry the sizing's off on this one as well guys. But like I said I wanted to keep the clarity better. In particular for these ones. So you can really check the condition. And Shaban is in better condition. Slightly glutes, hamstrings. Not as full in the lower back like I keep saying. Patrick's displays much better, the arms. So, you know, you know, many people, I mean, not too many people are going to argue, I should say. Abs and thigh pose. And I think this is an obvious win for Patrick. The size of his wheels. Now, he gets criticized having small legs. I think Patrick, considering his upper body and lower body, I think his flow symmetry is just perfect. The size of his wheels. Of course, there is a good uh, vascularity level conditioning for Shaban, but I don't think he has the waistline. Here's the close-up shot. And you know what, guys? Shaban, he really, I think he shocked a lot of people. He probably crushed a few dreams as well in Hassan Mustafa. His condition was perfect, guys. Aside from, you know, he doesn't have the, the cut abs of a Patrick Moore or a Nick Walker mention to, to mention Nick Walker once again but the guy was solid he was conditioned finished this one off the most muscular and this is basically explanatory for the whole matchup there's a condition vascularity of Shaban that he has but Patrick battled back with a far superior muscle separation flow symmetry and I think Patrick had a decent amount of size. For an aesthetic bodybuilder, he was looking pretty darn big. Now, this is the final say on this, guys. Patrick Moore is probably losing this last pose. So, kudos to Shaban. And like I was saying through the whole matchup, I didn't size these. So, you know, it's not my fault that the sizes are off. But I wanted to keep these pictures as clear, crystal clear as possible for you guys to make your decision as far as conditioning is concerned. And in a pose like this, Patrick probably would be losing. But there was many other poses besides the most muscular guys. And I see a lot of, you know, one clip here, one clip there. Oh, he should have won. He should have won. Got to look at all the poses, not just the most muscular. Because obviously, the more vascular, the more... The larger man's going to win a pose like this. But anyway, guys, not going to announce a winner. You guys know who won the competition. I have no argument with that. I just wanted to check the competition, like I said, and see where these guys are landing as far as their conditioning is concerned. If they're going to nail it, Pat could nail it even better at the Olympia, I think. Hit thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.